grace, heaven, sin, God, Christ, faith, response. Do you ever think about God? Tell me about it. God wants us to be with him and in heaven someday. Do you go to church anywhere? Tell me about it. Church is important to me because that's where I learn how I can go to heaven. Tell your story. Can I ask you something? Do you know for sure that you're going to be with God in heaven someday? If God asked you, why should I let you into my heaven, what would you say? I have really good news for you. Heaven is a free gift. It's not something you work for or deserve. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. It also says, for by grace you have been saved through faith, and thus not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works, so no one can boast. Friends gift story. What keeps us from getting this gift? We're all sinners and cannot save ourselves. What is sin? Sin is anything we think, say, do, or don't do that does not please God. The Bible says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. It also says, be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. The rotten food or egg story. There must be a different way. God's way. God is holy, loving, and just. On one hand, God loves us and doesn't want to punish us. But on the other hand, God is just and must punish sin. The Bible says God is love. It also says he will not let the guilty go unpunished. The punishment story, or Garcia. Do you see the problem? God solved this problem by sending his son, Jesus. Jesus is God. He came from heaven to earth and lived a perfect life. He died on the cross to pay for our sins and rose from the dead and is in heaven now, offering us the free gift of eternal life. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. The record book story. The Lord has laid on him, Jesus, the sin of us all. How do we get this gift? By faith. Saving faith is not only knowing about God, saving faith is not only for now. Saving faith is trusting in Jesus Christ alone for our eternal life. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. The boat story. Does this make sense to you? Would you like to ask Jesus to forgive your sins and to give you the gift of eternal life? This means you want to trust in Jesus, turn from your sin, and follow him. Is this what you want? We can pray together. Dear Jesus, forgive my sins. Come into my life as my Lord and Savior. Amen. The Bible says, he who believes has everlasting life. Now do you know for sure that you're going to be with God in heaven someday? And if God asked you, why should I let you into my heaven, what would you say now? Welcome to the family of God. We grow in Jesus through the Bible, prayer, worship, fellowship, and witness. Proverbs 3, 
5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6.